okay so now you can see I have just created a rough one for this one okay now you can just start coloring with it you can just take a material color go to this one and from just next to this one I have all material colors available here first I'll go for the water so I'll just scroll down to see where is the water okay fine I can see this here you can just use any one of this just click on the water area now see what happens when I click on this it gets whole dropped off so first I should make a level okay so when I drop off the color it doesn't spread out okay. now I can start dropping with the colors still here you can see I have not created this one okay now I'll stop dropping off the color Once I'll take one color and then complete that first and then move to next one. Okay, so I'm done with the water now I'll go for this big color so I'll take a stone or a metal not stone fine you can just find a similar color to this one I can find this one more similar I'll just spread this color over here right and this color over here okay good and then we'll take a metal color okay, you can choose the different colors as per your choice you can just zoom in for that So we have colored it and then you can just zoom out so you have to keep the view so you can just see clearly the stone one I have not completed with this one there are a few things which are still left out you have to just color it from all the sides so you have to just turn it around and color your things from all the side So at present I have colored all the parts. Now you can see the front part over here. I just need to decide what color has to be inserted over here. 
so I'll just go here and just see the other perspectives now this is a blue one okay a watercolor so I'll just take a watercolor and put it over here I'll just scroll the screens above to see okay fine that's good done so most probably see we have just left out one thing just scroll down okay fine so we are done with that now we can add few components to this we can add few components to this what are the components required a pole and a trees so that we can just add it from our component window we'll just search in the component window for trees and you can just directly download from this component window into your drawing okay any one is okay for now okay you can just find this what you can do is you can just scale it down using a scale tool just use a pan tool to proper position it okay and you can use a move tool to fix the trees on the proper place you can even duplicate these trees right you can just hmm, right I just pressed ctrl D to duplicate it you can just use another keys also here you can go to edit and just copy paste okay I created two trees you can make a tower using a pencil You can just can just create a lines connecting to this okay. so that's what we have created over here now you can label it with the labels available here the text so we'll just pin out this and we'll just give it a name The other things we'll just do it from this side get turbine you can name it over here as dam and then head yes pin stroke Reservoirs. 